Chapter 21 More Pivotal Scriptures The following are a few more of the scriptures that Calvinists attempt to escape. Hebrews chapter 2 verse 9 That he by the grace of God should taste death for every man is given the familiar Calvinist interpretation. White quotes verse 17 made like his brethren a merciful and faithful high priest, to make propitiation for the sins of the people. He goes on to explain, What people is here in view? Is it the many sons of chapter 2 verse 10? Those he sanctifies, chapter 2 verse 11. My brethren, chapter 2 verse 12. The children God gave me, Chapter 2, verse 13. In light of this, we understand the statement of Hebrews, chapter 2, verse 9, so that by the grace of God he might taste death for everyone. Another passage often cited without context by Armenians, yet defined so plainly in the text. Let us consider the context. Even when the writer uses we, He doesn't always refer only to believers. How shall we escape if we neglect so great salvation? Hebrews chapter 2 verse 3. Surely this is addressed to all mankind, and not just to the elect, unless the Calvinist is willing to admit that the elect can neglect their salvation and thus be lost. That solemn admonition introduces this entire section of Hebrews 2, which continues in the same vein into chapters 3 and 4. Readers are given numerous warnings and exhortations to hold fast to the faith and not to harden their hearts, lest they perish like the children of Israel perished in the wilderness through unbelief that this section contains references to those given to Christ by God through his sacrifice does not warrant interpreting taste death for every man to mean he tasted death only for the elect. Undoubtedly, the entire epistle is addressed to believers as are all epistles and the entire Bible, but much is also said both to and about the unsaved. All of Israel was not saved, and many perished, so Israel could hardly signify the Calvinist elect. The entire context surrounding Hebrews chapter 2 verse 9 contains some of the strongest verses Armenians cite in support of the belief that one's salvation can be lost, including the following. Today, if he will hear his voice, harden not your hearts. Hebrews chapter 3, verses 7 and 8. Take heed, brethren, lest there be in any of you an evil heart of unbelief in departing from the living God. Hebrews chapter 3, verse 12. For we are made partakers of Christ if we hold the beginning of our confidence steadfast unto the end. Hebrews chapter 3, verse 14. Let us therefore fear, lest a promise being left us of entering into his rest, any of you should seem to come short of it. Hebrews chapter 4 verse 1. They to whom it, the gospel, was first preached, entered not in because of unbelief. Hebrews chapter 4 verse 6. Oddly enough, in his book written to refute Arminianism and to defend Calvinism, White completely avoids these verses which make up the entire context of Hebrews chapter 2 verse 9, and he does so in the process of chiding Armenians for avoiding the context.